Hello everybody, Mega Goal number three, second secondary three grammar pages 84 and 85. Now let's take a look at the objectives and show the The first one, gerund after verbs, and number two, infinitives after verbs. باختصار هذا الأهداف الدرس الجرامر for unit number six which is called going green. So right now please move on to pages uh, 84 and 85 and start following up with me as I explain this lesson. قبل ما نبدأ بس أعطيكم فكرة عن the meaning of a gerund and the meaning of an infinitive. الجرند هو اللي يتكون من uh, اللي هو عبارة عن the ing form of a verb. مثلا عندي هنا live الجرند يصير living okay so هنا live is a verb and the gerund is yes living and you have to be careful لما نضيف ing ان احنا نطبق القاعدة الصحيحة لإضافة ing now as for gerund they act like a noun يعني بدال ما يكون فعل يصبح اسم and also they answer the question what يجاوبون على السؤال what okay now let's move on to the infinitives. The infinitives اللي هو عبارة عن to plus the base form of a verb. فهنا by اللي هي الverb. The infinitive بيكون to by. Okay. As well, they act like a noun. يعني يعاملوا معاملة الاسم. And also they answer the question what. Okay. So this is in brief the difference uh, uh, between the gerund and an infinitive and as well uh, the meaning of each one of them now gerunds they come after certain verbs now let's take a look so again a gerund the ing form of a verb so and they act like a noun and they answer the question what so now let's take a look here. I recommend it, okay, or I recommend, sorry, I recommend turning off the lights when you leave the room. So here the verb recommend uh, followed by a gerund, which is turning off the light, okay? Our class enjoys, so this is the verb, learning about ways to help the environment. So here learning is what is called gerund as well. So here this is the gerund. Okay, and this is as well the gerund, okay? Now, we use gerunds after certain verbs. اللي هي verb plus ing بعد أفعال معينة. Now, let's take a look at these verbs. Advise, enjoy, intent, quite, begin, finish, keep, recommend, cannot send, go, like, start. Okay, بإمكانكم ترجعون إلى Google وترجمونهم and you can memorize these verbs by heart or أو ممكن من ال practice تعرفون إنه هذه الأفعال followed by a gerund. Okay. Now uh, let's move on to the next thing, which is the infinitive after verbs. Okay, the infinitive, as we said previously, مثل ما ذكرت لكم, it can one mean to plus the base form of the verb. For example, to buy, to eat, all of these are called infinitive. Again, they act like a noun and they answer the question, what? Okay, so this is the infinitive. Now, let's take a look at these examples. Do not forget to reuse the plastic container. So here, the verb forget, or sorry, don't for, uh, forgot, but it has to be don't forget. So this is has to be don't forget, okay? To reuse, okay, so, so to reuse is the infinitive which is followed by a certain verb. And again, they act like a noun and they answer the question what, okay? Do they intend to buy a high, a hybrid, okay, a hybrid uh, car? Okay, so this is to buy is what is called an infinitive. وطبعاً جاء بعد فعل معين, which is intent. Okay, so again, we use the infinitive. Again, the infinitive, which is to plus the base form of the verb. يعني الفعل بدون أي إضافات after certain verbs. These verbs are agree, continue, intend, offer, start, ask. Okay, طبعاً لو تلاحظون ممكن تشوفون بعض الأفعال أقدر أستخدم بعضهم gerund وبعضهم ممكن أستخدم infinitive. مثلاً عندي start وعندي like. 
بإمكان إنه يعني they are followed by an infinitive or a gerund. Okay. As for these verbs, ask, expect. Okay. Ex expect, need, want. Uh, these verbs, okay, طبعاً, these verbs uh, can be followed by an object. بعضهم يجي مفعول به. مثل ما ذكرنا من قبل, the direct or indirect object before the infinitive. خلينا نشوف المثال عندي من, ال, من الأفعال want. So want, they want to plant a garden. Here this is the infinitive. But as well, they want us. Okay, to plant a garden, this is also an object. يعني بإمكان إني أحط بعد هالobject وبعد الobject يجي الinfinitive. So both uh, sentences are considered to be accurate. Okay. طبعا uh, if I if I ask you لو طلبت منكم to compare between the gerunds and the infinitive using Venn diagram. وانتو عارفين Venn diagram. We have two over overlapping circles. هنا في الجرند بي بيكون هنا في هذه الجهة الاختلافات اوكي okay, والانفينيتيف الاختلافات and in between we will have what they share so again both the gerund and the infinitive they act like a noun and they answer the question what as for gerund this the gerund is the ing form of a verb like living as for the infinitive it is a two plus base form of the verb for example to buy طبعا انا حطيت هنا ستار ممكن انتم تكتبون لسته الافعال اللي تجي بعد الجرند آه آه عفوا اللي يعني فولو آه اللي يجي بعدها جرند ولسته الافعال اللي يجي بعدها انفينيتيف وممكن بالنص تكتبون الافعال اللي ممكن تجي بعدها جرند او آه تجي بعدها uh, uh, infinitive مثل star to like واللي ذكرناهم okay so you can just finish this Venn diagram by yourself now let's take a look at the examples نشوف الأمثلة I'm gonna do one exercise to make sure that you have understood what I'm explaining right now or what I have explained so far now let's take a look at exercise C you are asked to circle the correct verb forms Sometimes both the gerund and the infinitive are possible, as I said previously. مثل ما قلت لكم سابقا ممكن يكون في الجرند بعض الكلم الأفعال يجي بعدها gerund وبعض الأفعال يجي بعدها infinitive. Uh, وممكن بعضهم يجي الاثنين. Do you want having or to have a positive impact on the environment? I suggest uh giving or to give these steps a try so here uh do you want to have okay a positive impact on the environment i suggest giving okay uh, these steps a try طبعًا, as for the rest you can do them by yourself طبعًا, i'm gonna do as well one exercise so please move on to page number um, 85 and let's do exercise C all together I'm gonna do the first one and the second one and we have an example which is, has been already done for you and then I يعني ممكن يعني تم حله سابقا ممكن يساعدكم لعملية الفهم as a model now you have to rewrite each sentence using the verb in brackets and a gerund or infinitive make uh, any other necessary changes طبعا عندنا جمل مطلوب ان احنا uh, نعيد كتاباتها بالاستخدام الفعل in brackets وطبعا uh, ممكن مثل ما قلنا يجي بعدها gerund او يجي infinitive وممكن نسوي تغييرات اللي هي uh, مطلوب منا now let's take a look here we're going to set the air conditioner on a timer at night so we okay plan Okay, as for plan, it's going to be to set and then you finish the sentence. Okay, so plan and bad haja infinitive. I don't really read newspapers, so this is basically will be the same. Now, instead of like, I'm going to use prefer, so it will be I prefer. Mm -hmm, I, and since that it's prefer, so it has it's going to be followed by a gerund so it's gonna be i prefer uh reading of course okay 
So now you have an idea about this exercise and you know what to do with the rest of the sentences. I hope that you have understood the lesson and you found it very easy. طبعا مثل ما عودكم I'm gonna post الملخص السمري في قناتي على التليجرام وبترك لكم عنوان القناة في description box below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends and hit the like button. Until next time, have a good one.